everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'm going to bring you along in another What We Eat in a Day video. So for today's breakfast we are having buckwheat cereal. So buckwheat is a nice one for a breakfast cereal because it's actually not in the wheat family at all. It's a one of those more traditional grains or seeds that's easier to digest, especially when you prepare it properly. So speaking of preparing properly, this recipe actually gets started the night before so that it has a nice long soak time. So I have some buckwheat that I put into my pan and then I add twice as much liquid. So for example, I have three cups of buckwheat and then I'm going to add six cups of liquid. So the liquid has some kefir in it and then the rest filtered water and then I just combine that and then I let that sit on the counter overnight. The next morning we're ready to cook the buckwheat cereal. So this actually comes together as a really, really fast breakfast when it's already had the chance to soak as you probably know soaking just helps to kind of pre-digest and break down everything, makes it a lot easier for our bodies to digest. It deactivates those anti-nutrients like phytic acid and it unlocks the helpful nutrients so that our body can actually use them. So after that overnight soaking process has happened, I try to make sure that happens for at least eight hours, more like eight to 12 if possible, then it's time to go ahead and cook. So all you have to do at this point is put the pan onto the stove. I start it off at high heat just to bring it up to a boil and then I lower it to around medium, medium low or so just until it's cooking gently. As I'm getting it started cooking, I go ahead and add some salt, usually about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half for this much buckwheat cereal works well. And then once everything has come to a boil and is cooking nicely, I go ahead and add some butter so I'm adding about half of a cup of butter to this and I usually add the butter a little bit closer to the end when everything is nicely cooked. It's thickening up. It's just about ready to serve and that just lets the butter melt and blend in very nicely. We like to serve this with some raw milk or raw cream if we have it and then a little bit of either maple syrup or raw honey or sucanat. Today we're doing some maple syrup, just a little bit. We don't go overboard on that. Along with the buckwheat cereal, I'm also heating up some breakfast sausage. So this is homemade pork sausage that I make into patties. So this is just ground pork that we get from a friend of ours who raises all natural free range pork. So we have the ground pork, we mix some salt and pepper with it and some dried sage. I just form that into little patties and bake them in a pan on the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then I'm, I like to make a big batch of these at a time and then we can store them in a container in the refrigerator for a, f a few days and then just take out what we need on mornings and reheat them right before eating them. So we just stick them into the toaster oven until they're nice and warm and then they are ready to enjoy. That just adds a little extra protein boost to our meal. And then also our probiotic food for this morning is some milk kefir. So I'm just pouring glasses of that for people to have along with breakfast. For lunch, we are just reheating some leftover beef stew. This is a beef vegetable stew, and it's one of the recipes that I showed in my last What We Eat in a Week video where I had seven different dinners. I will link that video down below if you'd like to go check that out. But I show in detail a bit more how I make this particular beef stew, but it's a really flavorful, hearty, delicious beef stew, really nice for these days that are still kind of chilly as we're not quite into warmer weather yet. So I just store this in big glass jars, pour out what I want for each bowl, and then heat the bowls up in the toaster oven, and then we enjoy those for lunch. So it's got beef meat stock. This one didn't gel as thickly as it usually does. I may have gotten the water ratio a little bit off, but it's still beneficial. But this one was made with some beef shanks, also some beef stew meat just to add some more meat some carrots, onions, garlic, peas, green beans. I also have some potatoes and corn in there, some tomato paste, bay leaves, and of course some ground black pepper and mineral salt. So 
super delicious and really nice, quick, tasty, hearty lunch. So here is one of the bowls of soup that I'm pulling out of the toaster oven after it's heated up. And then for the fermented food to go along with this meal, I'm just having little glasses of sauerkraut brine. We have a bunch of brine left from one of the jars of our homemade sauerkraut, so we're just using that up. I find that sauerkraut brine is very helpful just for that probiotic food, but it's also wonderful for boosting stomach acid, according to Dr. Natasha. So I like to include that on a regular basis. For dinner today, I'm going to be putting together some tacos. So in my cast iron skillet, I'm going to um, just start browning some ground beef. So this is grass-fed ground beef that we get. I'm adding some salt, some mineral salt, some onion powder, some garlic powder, and then I am getting some sprouted corn tortillas. I just pulled these out of the freezer. They've actually been in the freezer for a little while, so there's some frost kind of built up on them, but that's okay. I'm still going to go with it. They're going to be fine. I'm just thawing those in the toaster oven. I like this toaster oven because it has a fan setting, so you can defrost things pretty quickly without using a bunch of heat. It's a nice alternative to defrosting something in the microwave that works pretty well. So while the meat is getting started and those are defrosting, I'm also going to make some guacamole to go along with it. So I have some avocados here that I'm going to mash up with some salt and then I'm adding some lemon juice and just mixing that all together really well. And then just giving my meat a stir. And then the tortillas are coming out, so I'm just going to go ahead and start assembling some tacos. So I put some meat on there. I have some fermented salsa and then some raw cheddar cheese that's shredded that I add some of the guacamole, and then for sour cream, I have some kefir, so I'm trying to skim sort of the cream off of the top to use for kefir sour cream or kefir cultured cream, and so adding some of that, and then that just makes for some really delicious tacos. So I do like to also include things like tomatoes, lettuce, and things like that. We actually don't have any of those on hand right now, and they're still delicious with all of these toppings. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed coming along for another What We Eat in a Day for a day of meals at our house. Be sure and check out that description box for links to my different free eBooks and other goodies that I have down there. I also have some brand new meal plans that I've recently released that I'm super excited about. So be sure and check out that description box and check out those meal plans. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think would enjoy it. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.